Hello everybody, how are you? Hello everybody, how are you? It is time to start our day, it is time to work and play. Hello everybody, how are you? Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday. It is January 20th and today is my sister's birthday. Can everybody shout out, happy birthday Miss Janice. Today is her birthday, it's a special day for her. Today we are gonna be talking about a part of the world. We've been learning about the continents, but we aren't gonna learn about a continent today. We're gonna to learn about another part of the world that kind of sits up on its own, but it's part of different continents. It's called the Arctic, and I'm gonna show you on the globe. It's at the very top of the world. Can you circle your hands like this and make kind of a circle way up here at the top? That's where you find the Arctic. And there are special animals that live up there. It takes a very special person and animals to live up there because it is extremely cold. We think we get cold in the wintertime, we can't even imagine how cold it gets up there. So let me show you on our globe. We've seen our globe before. When we first looked at our globe, we talked about how the blue on the globe is water and the green and the brown are the land. And let's see here, we started out in North America, which was over here. We learned about the United States and Canada and Mexico. Then we traveled over here to Europe and we learned a little bit about Europe. Well, right above them at the very top is what we're talking about today, the Arctic. Next week, we're going to come back and we're going to go woo, all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to talk about the Antarctica. Antarctica is a continent and we're going to learn about that next week. So that's what it looks like on the globe. Let's take a quick peek at the map back here. This is a map of all the continents that we have started learning about and that we will finish learning about. So here again is North America. That's where we started. There's Greenland. We talked about that. This is Europe. Up here at the top, we talked a little bit about up here at the top before, that's the Arctic. And it has its own ocean up there. It's a tiny little ocean called the Arctic Ocean. It's the smallest ocean of all of them. Now, the Arctic, like I said, is very, 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 very cold. That's where the North Pole is. And we all know that the North Pole is extremely cold. So when you live up there, what kind of clothing, if you were to live up there, what kind of clothing do you think you would need? Do you think that you would dress in shorts and bathing suits? Or do you think that you'd more want a snowsuit and sweaters and warm clothes? I think that's what you would want. You'd also want a house that keeps you very, very warm, wouldn't you? Well, I want to show you. Sometimes up in the Arctic, in certain places, you can find homes that look like this. Does anybody know what this home is called? This is called an igloo, and it is made out of blocks of snow and ice. You wouldn't think it would be warm, would you? But it keeps them warm. This is an igloo. Now here is somebody that you might find living inside of the igloo. Look at how he is dressed. He is bundled up warm. The only thing you can see is part of his face. He is very, very warm. Maybe he lives in the igloo. Stand him right there. I've got another person that maybe lives with him in the igloo. Maybe this is his wife. Maybe they live up there together. This is their home in the igloo. Now, because where they live, it's very cold and very snowy, it's hard to get around. So oftentimes, people will ride in sleds. This might be what they ride in. This is a kind of sled that maybe they use to get across the ground. I'm gonna put it, did you notice that I have ice here? Because there is a lot of ice up in the Arctic. I'm gonna put this on the ice. Maybe sometimes they take their sled out on the ice and who do you think pulls that sled? It doesn't just move, it's pulled by dogs. It's a dog sled, dogs pull it. And that before we show you anything else, before I show you anything else that might be on the ice, in the water, around it, on the land, in the air, let's take a quick peek at a couple of nonfiction books. We've talked about nonfiction books before. A nonfiction book, if you remember, gives us information. It tells us true things. A fiction book tells us stories for fun. So this nonfiction book is called first atlas and what's on the cover of it. What do you guys see there? Remember when we looked at our globe? It's the earth. This is a flat picture of the earth. The globe is round. This is a flat picture of the earth for us to look at. And we're going to go right to this page. Now in this page you see two different places. I mentioned to you before that next week we're going to talk about this place. This is the bottom of the earth. That's Antarctica. This is the top of the earth. This is the Arctic. So I'm gonna hold it up close so you can take a moment to look at some of the pictures there. We just talked about how they travel, people that live up there can travel with dog sleds. Well, here's one, but it's in reverse. The man is pulling the sled. 
He's standing at the front and pulling the sled behind him. He's walking with it. Airplanes can go up there and check out where the, and check out the Arctic. Ooh, here's somebody that lives there. Who's that? It's a polar bear, and I happen to have some. I have a mommy polar bear, and I have a baby polar bear. Now, where do you think I should put my polar bears? Should I put them on the land, on the ice, on the water? They can go anywhere, can't they? They swim in the water, they walk on the ice, they walk on the land. We're gonna put them on our ice up here. And we're gonna make sure that they stay without sliding around. Now, one thing, I talk about how animals have a special way of keeping themselves warm up there. It takes special animals to live up there. They have what's called a lot of blubber. They got a lot of blubber underneath their skin and their fur, and that helps keep them warm. It's fat that helps keep them warm. So they are specially equipped. They're not going to be frozen on that ice there. They're kind of made for that. So we saw that. Then also, let's see if you can see this little bird. I don't have this to show you in real life, but there's an Arctic fern. It's a special bird. Where do you think you would find that? Would you find them on the ice, in the water, on the land? You would find the Arctic fern up in the air, wouldn't you? That's a bird that's flying. Some of the other animals that you would find. Let me show you, I have some special ones here. We just talked about this one, the polar bear. You would also find this beautiful creature down here at the bottom. That's an Arctic fox, all white. We normally think of fox as being red, but the Arctic fox is all white. It's beautiful. Somebody else, I think these guys are so cute, walruses. You'll find a lot of walruses up there. Now look at how they are together. They're just kind of all piled one on top of another and they don't even care, do they? That probably helps keep them warm. They have blubber too to keep them warm. I don't think sitting like that and laying around like that helps keep them warm. I have a walrus to add to our picture over here. Now the walrus, He's going to go in the water, he's going to go in the ice, he's going to go in the land. I think we'll put him right here, hanging out on the ice. I don't have a, a friend for him. Clearly, walruses like to hang out together. I don't have a friend for mine. He's just going to have to sit there alone today. Then, another nonfiction book that I have is about seals. You'll find seals up in the Arctic. Seals are interesting because they are very slippery. Seals are slippery. They are fast and they are sleek. They can move very easily through the water. Some people say that they even look like bears. If you look at that picture, there's a seal yelling and a bear growling. They kind of look the same, don't they? You can find seals up in the Arctic. Now, seals are mammals, which means they're like dolphins, dogs, bears. That means that they breathe air. This is the kind of seal that you would find up in the Arctic. Now, I have a seal, but he's not white like that. He's not beautiful like that, but I'm still going to. Oh, I don't know what I did with my seal. I can't find my seal. So we won't put my seal out there right now. But that's the kind you would find up in the Arctic. Seals have four flippers to help them move. They have the two in the front, and then they have two in the back. And like I said, they are super swimmers. They can swim very, very quickly and they can dive very deep into the water. You see his long whiskers here? They have long whiskers to help them feel things in the, on the water. When we've talked about our senses, we have a sense of touch. We use our fingers for that sense. They use their whiskers for that sense. I think this one's smiling at us. Seals like to eat fish, krill, squid, lobsters, penguins, and other sea creatures. But they don't taste their meals because they don't have a sense of taste. They don't have taste buds. And they can see very well under the water as well. They have big round eyes that help them stay away from animals that want to munch on them for lunch. So you might find seals up there. There's one more mammal that you might find up there and I wanna show you. It's called a whale. I bet you guys are familiar with whales, aren't you? There's a certain one that you might find up there, but let's learn a little bit about whales before we add one to our, our little scene here. Whales are incredible animals. They live in the sea, but they're not fish. They are mammals. Mammals breathe air and give their babies milk, but fish don't. So even though they can go under the water, they're not fish. They're mammals like we are, like people are. They have two flippers and a long tail. There's all different kinds of whales. Now what's interesting is that the whales you see on this page, they have teeth. You guys have teeth? Can I see them? Can you chop them? We all have teeth like they do, but some whales don't have teeth. This group of whales here, they don't have teeth. They have 
instead of having teeth, they have something called baleen, which is like a big comb in their mouth. That sounds strange, doesn't it? And the one we want to look at today is this one up here. He's a baleen whale. He's a humpback whale. Instead of having teeth again, can you see this guy? He has a big comb in his mouth. Well, like a big comb. He doesn't have teeth. This is my humpback whale. Now, where do you think I should put him? Where would you find him? You'd probably find him in the water, wouldn't you? But he can go up on land too. But I'm going to put him back over here, kind of off the ice. He's going to go swimming in the water back over here. Let's see if you know, I put him there. You can't see him. We'll put him up here. Pretend that's the water. So we talked about the igloo where people can live. Not everybody does, but people can. But there is another kind of home that you might find up there. There there's, are others, but the one I also want to look at with you is a special kind of a tent. This is a picture from up in the Arctic. And you can see this man, he's got his kayak. He's going to go out in the water. And he's got his warm clothes on, like we saw with our friends up here. But he has a tent. And this tent is made out of animal hide, and that helps to keep him warm. So, so far we've seen that there's a lot of ice up there. Oh, that's cold to touch. You can make your own ice. I froze water overnight, so I would have an ice flow, a glacier that my animals could be on and they could dive off of. And we've seen that humans live up there. People can live up in the cold Arctic, but they make adaptations. They have warm clothes. They have warm homes. They have special kinds of transportation to help them get around. And you can find land animals, you can find sea animals, and you can find animals, or you can find birds up in the air, up in the Arctic. So you can find all different kinds of creatures. Now, if it's that cold, and if there's that much ice, of course there's gotta be snow, right? I want to challenge you to a little snowball game. So I'm going to clear my igloo out of the way here, clear my humans, my people out of the way here, I have two bowls. One has snowballs in it, one is empty. Now, I don't have real snowballs. I have cotton balls. You can use cotton balls. You can use marshmallows if you have them. I had cotton balls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a dice and I'm gonna roll it and I'm gonna see what number I get. Then I'm gonna try to transfer the snowballs from one bowl to the other. But it would be really easy if I just went over there and said one, two. That's way too easy. Uh -uh, we're not doing it that way. I have tongs to try. You can try tongs if you don't have tongs. Maybe you have some kind of chip clip, clothespin, something like that. You can use that. Or a spoon. Maybe you could try scooping one up with a spoon and trying to put it over there. So let me roll this so you can see it. You ready? My big dice. Okay, we have to count the number that's on top. Can you look at that and tell me what that number is? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have to transfer five snowballs. Okay, let me give it a try. I'm gonna try my tongs. Ready? One, two, three, four, ah, and five. I did it, I transferred five. Now let's do it one more time. Let's roll this again. And you can help me count. How many did I get this time? One, two, three, four. Let's transfer four more. This time I'm gonna use these, this clip, I think. Let's see, one, okay. Pick it up and drop it. Two, pick it up and drop it. Three, pick it up and drop it. And four, pick it up and drop it. All right, you guys. Next week, we're going to go down south. We're in the north now. Next week, we're going to go down south. We're going to learn about Antarctica, and we'll compare. We'll see maybe there were some creatures that you thought you might find in the Arctic that weren't there, that maybe we'll see in Antarctica when we go there next week. Have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the snowball challenge. Maybe you can make an iceberg or you can make a glacier and you can have some sea creatures on yours and have a lot of fun. I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.